We are out in the garden with Dave, the garden guy. It's his garden. Uh, I told you to wear your zoot suit today. I know you, what you, you got forgot. made, dude. I mean, you look fantastic. Well, I thank can't you, believe Dave. Nice watch, nice wow. suit. Wow. And then just plain old garden guy. That's what we love about you. Yeah, just plain old guy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. Well, let's talk about what this plain old guy's got to say today. What right. we got is a lot of different types of animals that like to invade our garden and a lot of different types of insects. Let's talk about insects first. Bobby was just smelling it. Smell that right there. This is what we call French lavender. And Bobby's behind our camera there. Oh, there he goes no, right there. Uh, I'm, hey, wait a minute. Let me put him back hey, up that here. smells pretty good. Isn't that smell? You put this in your bathtub at night when you soak? You betcha, buddy. <laughs> Underneath my pillow to help me sleep <laughs> and to get rid of those pesky mosquitoes throughout oh, the house really? and home and garden and everything else. How does that get rid of mosquitoes? You know what? They All just don't these like different, them? yeah, they don't like them. They don't like Kills a lot them? of these different types of oils that these, hmm. well, these herbs put off. And so it works out fantastic. Another one, society garlic. In fact, it smells like garlic. It's not garlic but it does a great job again of getting rid of those mosquitoes. Dan Davis used to put these in his, well, in his garden and put his feet in them because he had a problem <laughs> with mosquitoes, of on course. His feet? Okay. Yeah, you know, you just kind of tuck yeah. your feet in there as you're right. sitting there enjoying a cold one in the afternoon and some way to do it. And then of course, rosemary is another one. Now, rosemary is one I use for cooking as well as getting rid of a lot of moths and mosquitoes in throughout the house. You grow them outside and you can grow them inside as long as you're getting a lot of Sun. They do fantastic as an ornamental out here in the desert southwest. They've got a nice purple flower on them too. Outstanding plant. And here's one peppermint, gets rid of those mice and mosquitoes. But last but not least, I want to talk about this is called catnip. They've been doing some study on catnip lately. You know that DEET you spray on mm -hmm. a lot of your arms and everything? Mm -hmm. This is more powerful than DEET. It works out fantastic. Really? And you so can what, do you go rub, and rub the plant on you? you? Can, yeah, you can rub the plant on <laughs> you, or you can make an oil out okay. of it. it man, you know what? <laughs> do they pay me for this or what? Or do they pay me enough? <laughs> God, sir, this is serious stuff, dude. <laughs> I can tell. You're very serious oh, about this. Oh, okay. Hey, hey Look, I you am even serious. have a Southwest bug guide. Yeah, well, that's just to prove that I know something about what I'm talking about here. There's my book right there. And let's talk a little bit about getting rid of those animals. I don't know how much time I've got here, but marigolds is one I've been planting throughout the garden, especially up north. i got a couple little pesky rabbits out there. And recent studies have said, well, marigolds do a good job of repelling those different types of rabbits. This is what we call companion planting. So it's a great way to get rid of them and get rid of them quite naturally. Right behind here, well, there's some bay that we have growing in the back 40 back there. You can see it way back there past the umbrella. This is one we actually utilize inside of a lot of our different types of flowers, excuse me, flour that you cook with. Uh -huh. And of course, for those ants and mosquitoes, works out fantastic and holds up real well out here in the desert southwest. Well, I'll tell you what, if I ever come over to your house or when I come over to your house next, there better hadn't be one mosquito within a mile of yeah, your house. Okay, let me ask you something. How many mosquitoes have you seen this morning? Zero. That's exactly the point, Zoot Suit. <laughs> <laughs> Back to you. Okay, you make a lot of sense. Gina. Gina, there you, you go. You know what? You gotta kinda put a wall between us, I'll tell you what. <laughs> but I always say it's really hard. I should get hazard pay when he comes out. <laughs> That just proves it. It's hard to believe we're actually good friends. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Barely. Well, Barely. if you were nice to each other, we would know you didn't really like each other. Hey, good morning to you.